so hi guys so we have seen how the constraint layout works and uh, there are more thing in constraint layout that we are going to cover now one by one so in constraint layout there is a concept called chains so chain styles so what are the chain styles so just look at this image if we have a b c three different views or widgets we can arrange them in such a way by, uh, without doing any separate coding or without providing your own logic just by the single click you can arrange them into your layout okay so there are five types as you can see one is spread chain so spread chain spread inside chain weighted chain pack chain pack chain with bias okay so spread chain so the views are evenly distributed so as you can see the space between them is equal and uh, the view the width of the views or whatever this view is it is evenly distributed okay so this view so see the size of this view is the rectangular area which is occupied by that view class which is created by that view class right so the view may be of different uh, uh what you say it, it it may render differently but the area it is occupying is the is that rectangular okay so that rectangle is the important thing okay and the other the the space which is remaining in th into the width it will be uh divided equally so okay so that is why the views are evenly distributed now spread inside chain the first and last view are affixed affixed to the constraint on each other on each end of the chain so see the first and last view is constrained at the parent and the rest are evenly distributed so here we have uh, we have three widgets but if we have five widgets now then the first and last element will come here at the parent and other three elements will be distributed evenly so you can just place this entire part in between a and c so like that five elements will come this 1 2 3 this spread chain and uh, uh, a spread inside chain okay so instead of b if you just replace this entire thing it will give you spread inside chain for five elements this is for three elements only okay weighted chain so weighted chain is set to either spread or spread inside okay so this is spread or spread inside hmm it is either set or uh, set to spread or spread inside or you can fill the remaining space by setting one or more views to match constraint that is zero dp see we have wrap content and match parent but we have match constraints also which is zero dp okay so what is match constraint if we if if this b see this double arrow the meaning of this double arrow is what b is set to uh, the uh, okay the property of start to uh, end of a it is given and end to start of c is given right and similarly a will be given the property of a will be given like start uh, sorry end to start of b and start to start of parent okay so these are the constraint you are giving right so if you write match constraint na it will exactly show you according to the constraint if you remember in constraint view we have uh we have we have uh, declared a property in xml if you remember this i will show you that layout and uh, we have given a property as true see this property layout constraint width true okay so 
if you are if you are using match parent and wrap content then if you want your object or your view uh behave according to the constraint you need to give layout constraint with true right or layout constraint height true whatever uh, height or width you are using for that okay but if you use zero dp here na it is a match constraint if you use zero dp it will act according to your constraint you don't need to give set constraints true okay so by default the space is evenly distributed between each view that is set to match constraint so if you do match content match constraint it will be spread type hmm? but you can assign a weight of importance to each view using the layout constraint horizontal weight and layout constraint vertical weight attributes if you are familiar with layout weight in linear layout it works the same way so the view with the highest weight value gets the most amount of space and view that have the same weight get the same amount of space so we have already seen weight sum and layout weight in linear layout and it is saying that it works the same way right so this is weighted so here if you if you declare weight as a 5 weight sum as a 5 so this can be 1 2 2 right and if you declare it as a 1 then uh this will be 0.4 0.4 and 0.2 right so the weight sum will be 1 so this is how the weighted chain will work now pack chain <coughs> see this pack chain okay so as you can see the uh, the space between these views is gone so they are packed okay so let's go to the definition the views are packed together after margins are accounted for you can then adjust the whole chain bias by changing the chain's head view bias okay so what is this bias bias no that i will tell you uh as you can see here pack chain it is just giving you everything inside that is center that is uh, equally distributed spread and pack chain with bias that means left shift or right shift bias is nothing but shifting left or shifting to the right more or customly okay so let's have a look at the chains okay so i will create one layout here and i will name as activity underscore chains okay now my layout is constraint layout i will just hide this panel okay and we don't need this right now but let's just go with this okay so now i am putting three buttons here <coughs> Okay let's put four buttons as uh, you have seen how three buttons works So now see you I have shown you how the component trees uh, panel is uh, shown okay so you have four buttons here right and this is in the constraint view this is the parent view now I will select every button So I have just uh, 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 holding. I'm just holding the Shift key on the keyboard, and I'm clicking uh, first item and then last item. Or you can hold the Control key on your keyboard and click everything one by one. Now I will right click it, okay, and I will go to one Chain section. See this Chain section, okay. So if I create a chain vertical, see <coughs> a vertical chain is created. now in the coding if you go you will see some absolute x amount is given right and the error also that it will uh, the view is not constrained horizontally horizontally right so you need to add horizontal constraint also so for every view i will write start to start of parent end to end of parent so that it will be horizontally aligned also and it will come to the center 
as you can see that error is gone ha now you see that view it is spread okay so spread outside spread inside so equally distributing the weight and it will be equally distributing the space <coughs> right okay now let's change this spread type so to change the chain style i will right click on this button any any view you want you can right click on it go to chains okay and you see vertical chain style okay this option they have given so right now our uh, 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 style is spread now i will write spread inside now you see first and last button it is set to the parent and the button between two are spread equally right now if i right click on chains okay i just right click on that button go to chains and then set packed now you can see <coughs> this button is set as packed chain okay so this is how you can use chains okay horizontally be it uh, vertically or be it horizontally you can use different different views also no problem with that okay so let's uh, have a look at other components in the uh, next video